Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by our friends over at BetterHelp. And they've asked me, when has there been a time that I've, in my life, focused on being focusing on problems over solutions? And definitely with my Iron Man recently, I was definitely focusing on a lot of problems rather than the solutions to those problems. The thing for me was finding the time to get the training in, diet specifically, and also like just even getting myself out of bed and trying to force myself to go and train. And I know it can be tough to train your brain to stay in that like problem solving mode, if that makes sense. But obviously when you finally learn how to come out of that and find the solutions to those problems, there's no better feeling. And obviously with better help, a therapist can help you become a better problem solver and help you to overcome these problems with solutions, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. I myself in the past have used a therapist, especially during the lockdown stuff. In different settings, I used to get a bit anxious and whatnot and sort of start second guessing myself. But the person I spoke to gave me different techniques to help overcome those solutions. Um, and it's really helped me become who I am today. And better help are so, so good. You can get matched with a professional therapist online, which obviously means you don't have to have the stress of leaving your room, going somewhere. You can do it from the comfort of your own room, your own home. And if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, if you just need someone to talk to, you can go to betterhelp.com slash pitch today to get yourself 10% off your first month. That is betterhelp.com slash pitch to get yourself 10% off your first month. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. I got slandered and you lot hurt my feelings. You came from my head. And I'll tell you this. If I said what Reeve said and Reeve said what I said, you'd still go at me. <laughs> and I don't like bullying. Let's what feel, let's I said, I said Harland, Harland is currently the best striker in the Premier League. Without that's a doubt. Just, that's fact. I'm sorry, but that just is fact. I, just, I want to see violins in the chat. It's fact. It's fact. And you lot destroyed me. And I was at home really upset. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. P- people disagreed with you saying Harland was the... Yeah, all best. these Kane fanboys. And I'm not saying... I think Kane. a lot of them were because that guy said Kane's not even top two, which was... But I didn't say that. But I wait, are, are we that. talking about like right now? Right now. It, it's not even... a like Even Thank as a Spurs you. fan, and you look, have to admit. And I'm not even... Sorry. And I'm not saying Kane is bad. I've never said that. I, I quite literally think Kane is one of the best strikers in the world. Full stop. Period. He's the best striker I've ever seen live. Yeah. I've seen Ronaldo live. Not Harry Kane, I uh, saw him live once. Okay, fine, fair enough. Saw him live once, back in 2005. But so, Harry Kane, as a number nine, I saw him in person, and I was I also was like seven years old. So, so I don't think I could. So basically, you're saying Kane's better than Omri. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Messi live. <laughs> Harry Kane holds the ball up. He uh, he doesn't. When I saw yeah, he's him, got in yeah. Club Harry Kane has Chelsea. literally everything. Drops yeah. deep, gets the ball, picks pace. a pass out. Having the pace, yeah, yeah. But it's shown that he doesn't need pace. The amount of goals he scores, the goals that he yeah. sets, everything like that. Lewandowski's not slow. He's not fast either. Mm. Sort of he's not Harlem pace, is he? But no yeah. one's. But my point was that, like Harry Kane's sensational. But I think Carlin right now is better. And if you look at stats and what is a goal, what is a striker's job to do? Score goals. But that Harry isn't, Kane I, does everything though he literally does everything yeah but currently Gen- genuinely I don't think Kane. there's a manager in the world that would choose Harry Kane over Haaland right now I disagree because mm. Harry, yeah, Harry, Harry, Kane, Harry Kane brings to a team what is Haaland's job his sole job score goals, score goals. what's Kane's so, he, he hasn't got a sole job mm. has he he creates he links but he, he, no, he, he, know, he's you, key to the way Spurs play you, Haaland isn't I don't disagree you put, with you you put any good striker in that City team and yeah. they're banging goals in left right and centre I don't disagree with you I literally do, don't do disagree with you. Do you think Harry Kane would score more for Tottenham than Haaland would if he was at Tottenham? Oh, that's a tricky I one. Think, so I think Haaland would. Like, I, I also think, think any team. Haaland, I, some of the goals Haaland scored, Harry Kane hasn't scored, won't score this season. But I'd also say there's certain goals Kane scores that yeah. Haaland doesn't it's score. All, it's all just like hearsay. Okay, do you, think, do, you think, do you think Kane? <laughs> do you think Kane would get more goals than Haaland's currently got in that City team? If it, it, no, because Kane wouldn't just be a sole goal scorer. Yeah, but I think he might be if you get in that position because he doesn't then have to do. If you said to me, if 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 you said Kane went to City and all he was told to do was just score goals, which is what I, I think, think he, he would, would score do, as many as Haaland. Which is what I think he would do. Do that. you not think though this whole like? It's not Kane's job to just score goals, but isn't that what a striker's for? No, because it, it depends on the team. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, if, if, but, yeah. but you say that. But if Kane went on like a ten-game goal drought, he'd be questioned. Okay, no, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, he's he's did, but he did last song. season. Last and season, that, that beginning of the season, people jumped on his back. Yeah, and then right, seventeen goals. Unfairly, I will say. And it's like, it's, yeah, for example. You can still not score and be playing well mm. and, and affect the game and help yeah. the team. It's not all about stats and numbers. Like 
Haaland, if Haaland, I mean, it's, it sounds stupid to say because he does, he practically scores every game, but if he doesn't score, he's not very useful. Is that, yeah. No, it's not. Because there's yeah, there's games where you can see him going missing where he gets six, seven touches in a single, like yeah. a whole game. All the stuff about how many touches yeah. he actually not gets really in a game. Yesterday, if Saul would have saved that shot, which I think he probably should have, yeah. you'd probably say Haaland was shit. He, he, but the thing is, like, he still does it. So no, it's not yeah. even a conversation. No, yeah, we're, we're, we're not I'm, not, I'm not slating him, and, and I am saying I'm agreeing. If you offered me one right now, I'd take Haaland. I'm just playing devil's advocate that mm. Kane, but saying, if Kane doesn't score, players. if Kane doesn't score, he still affects the game, which Haaland yeah, doesn't do. Yeah. Who's the better striker, Shearer or Henri? Henri. But Shearer's mm. technically... Sc- well, I'd, I'd, actually, I'd say Henri... See what I mean? Do you see where goal. there's like a... Hmm. There's a dodgy one going on there, but right now, currently, so you just Harlan... disagree with yourself. Yeah, so I know. <laughs> but that's what you I'm just saying. Had an argument with yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying. Devil's advocate, I'm blurring the lines. The there. thing is, we are lucky to be watching these two players at the minute, being able to compare. Yeah. How good these strikers are. I mean, yeah, they're the they're the two best. Who, in the if world. you're if you're a defender, yeah. Who who are you hoping you don't get Kane or Haaland? See again, it depends on the de- if you're if you're a def- if you're a big, strong, physical defender, you'd rather play Haaland. But if you're a defender who just likes, to- you know, I disagree with this because all right, I know how physical Kane is, and it's, but Haaland's massive. No, mate. I'm saying, I'm saying, a physical defender would rather play against Haaland because that's their game. Whereas Kane, who drops in, you don't know where to go. Yeah, was, he's yeah. dragging you all over the place. Ha- you know what Haaland's going to... Some some like fast, strong defenders will prefer Haaland, who runs in behind, than right, someone right. who drops in. Oh, Kane yeah. doesn't run in behind, really, does he? No, Unless yeah. he's in transition no, yeah, or definitely. on breaks. But other defenders who prefer the game in front of them and like to read will, will much prefer playing against Kane. Yeah, yeah. They don't want. They don't want. Most defenders hate fucking running backwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they'd but rather I, play against. Kane. I think Harland is potentially just as, if not more, physical than Kane. No, he is more physical than Kane. Like all this stuff about like Kane, like gets himself about hold up play. Like his hold up play is good, but his difference. What if it's it? like, Do you remember Harland's goal when he like? Just like fought off like two defenders and they just like yeah. couldn't get around him and he knocked. And I can't remember who it was against. He, one he, of his he's braces. Just a robot and he just yeah. I don't think I, I, I just don't understand how someone could be that big, that, that strong, fast, that, and that yeah. fast. The acceleration is well, crazy for someone that small. First ever season against West Ham. He's Champions League goal, mate. He's like oh, silly. Enough. How do you get your foot up there? Some ball from Cancelo though. It was like Cruyff's goal. They compared it to Cruyff's yeah. goal. You know that famous goal Cruyff scored in the Euros? What? Like, Are you the joking? It's no, nothing yeah. like that. No, no, no. no there's a Cruyff goal that has he had a goal when he yeah. like flies in at the back post oh, like that. Oh, I thought that. you meant... Oh, no, no you're talking about the volley he's Van Basten. Van Basten's Look, goal, that, yeah. that goal, I'm not down. Unbelievable goal. The cross. But you can't take the anything cross. away from yeah. the cross. The cross is fucking Ciao up. Ciao Cancelo. <laughs> oh, silly. Signed him to be the best right back in the world. Oh, he's amazing. Became one of the best he's left amazing. backs in the world. Uh, speaking of a left-sided player, Jack Greedish scores for Manchester City. Jackie boy. My man. My man. <laughs> um, he was getting a lot of stick because he's not producing the numbers. But Guardiola's come out and said, defended him. He said he didn't sign him for goals and assists. Even after the game, Jack Grealish said that he's probably not scoring yeah. as much as... But he was saying even at Aston Villa, yeah. he wasn't scoring as many as people probably he's, thought he he's should He's never be. had massive numbers, Grealish. Yeah. He's, it's just not his... Affects the game a lot, He though. just affects it, it his, in other ways. His biggest problem at City is he's trying to... He's tried to do too much and be like a Man City player, like to he should just be himself a be little himself bit. A bit yeah. more. The thing is, so so many people give Grealish stick because he's been slapped with that price tag, but it's not his yeah. fault that yeah. he was slapped with that price tag. It's the English tax that you the got. Pro- the it. problem yeah. Grealish has found or got is he's gone from being obviously a big um, big fish, small pond, but it's not just that. It's, 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 a, it's you're just a cog in the wheel. Other than yeah. De Bruyne, yeah. it, it just shows how good he is. And Haaland, you wouldn't say, oh, they're by far the best and main player. But even that, that they're like part of a system. At Villa, their system was get the ball to Grealish <laughs> yeah. and let him do what he wants. No, but it's the same happened with Jesus and he goes away from Man City yeah. and now he's a superstar. If Jack Grealish goes back to like most other clubs in the Premier League, he's a superstar. He'd excel because also he, at, at Villa, he's probably getting the ball, I don't know, let's say he gets the ball 100 times a game at yeah. City he might get it 25 yeah so he's now and he's also I think he's I think he's 
he plays a bit scared sometimes. Yeah, he doesn't he's want to scared make mistakes, to, ma- yeah, he's scared to mess up. So then he, he dribbles and kind of cuts back and just passes it back. And you're like, fucking hell, just run it in, man. Let yeah, go. he should do more of one on ones. Yeah, like, that's he, what he's every time at. he gets it, he's, oh, he always plays. Yeah, it. he wants to go but back. But when he gets at that a defender and then he cuts in, that's when it's like, oh, I think that's, that's why you're seeing the beauty of Phil Foden at the moment. Oh, he, God, he's got, because he's been there for a few years now and he's learning under He's gaining his confidence, isn't he? Like to just like. Even if he does thing. mess up, it's not the end of the world. He changed the game on Wednesday against Dortmund. Him and Silva, when they come on. Yeah, they, they were did just, like a triple. They were just so direct. Yeah. It went from Mahrez and Grealish, who were a bit slow and just, I don't know, he was a bit like Ma- lethargic. Mahrez has gone a bit missing this season. Yeah, he has. He hasn't not really done anything. Year. Yeah. I, I, thought, yeah. I thought last season Mahrez was sensational. Yeah. He's Best like, yeah. touch in the league. Um, That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Might have um, one foot out the door, I reckon, Mahrez. Yeah. He's only, I That's think he's on his way out. Feeling. The thing is, someone like him, he is an absolute star in our... Like, he is, like, massive. And at here, he's not even yeah. first-team football. Yeah. Yeah. Does he right. stay in the Prem? I reckon go to Serie A. Oh, what do you know? What's the inside knowledge here? Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I was in the know. This is absolutely just... Send Mahrez, re- AC Milan or Inter Milan. <laughs> oh, no, I... C- I could see Mares go. Uh, well, no, I think he'd suit United. I think that's the type of player Jeez. United need. But I don't Imagine think he'd go. They just signed Anthony. Ooh. He's better than Anthony, though. Oh yeah, obviously. He's twice as good. I, I think he he'd go like Syria. Yeah, maybe or like PSG. He speaks French. Yeah. No, he wouldn't get. You wouldn't touch their first team though. Well, no, what if, if Neymar leaves? Well, then yeah, Neymar's Arsenal. 